Yachting is one of the entertainment industry's biggest open secrets, with A-list stars, including models, actors, and influencers being rumored to have been involved in yachting at some point during their careers. If you're unfamiliar with the term, yachting is used to describe the practice of being paid to spend time, often on a yacht, with extremely wealthy clients. Over the years, it has become a popular way for women to raise their profile while making some money. However, under the surface, it has a dark history of co coercion, sexual exploitation, and human trafficking. The term itself first started gaining traction when The Hollywood Reporter published an investigation into the culture at the Cannes Film Festival in 2013, claiming that models and some Hollywood actors swarmed the hotels and yacht parties during the festival. A man named Eli Nahas, who ran a modeling agency at the time and would later be convicted of supplying more than 50 women to rich Middle Eastern clients during the festival, said, Every year, there are 30 to 40 luxury yachts in the bay at Cannes and every boat belongs to a very rich person. Every boat has about 10 girls on it, and they are usually nude or half nude. These women are referred to as yacht girls, and they blur the lines between party goers and escorts, as the general agreement between them and the host of the boat is that by coming aboard, they are expected to carry out favors. But at the end of the night, they are all gifted envelopes full of varying amounts of money. The amount of cash they receive is based upon their celebrity status, and what favors they carried out over the course of the evening. According to Nahas, you definitely recognize more than a few names from Hollywood. They tell themselves what they're doing at Cannes is okay, that they're just on dates with girls, include Bella Hadid, Hailey Bieber, and Meghan Markle. But before we get deeper into that, let's ponder why an already wealthy and successful person would consider doing it. As previously stated, the men who own these boats are extremely wealthy, and unfortunately, with wealth comes power and connection and having a decent relationship with some of these people could take your career to the next level. According to The Hollywood Reporter, yachting your way to stardom happens with disturbing frequency and even pointed a finger at actress Irina Shayk, who landed her debut role in the film Hercules despite having zero previous acting credits. And in a stylist article on women yachting, an anonymous source said, you might see people on the red carpet and have no idea who they are, but there's a reason why they're being elevated. They're being seen, but so is the person who invited them there. They also went on to say, you often see someone with a million followers, always traveling and being pictured on a private jet. And you think, well, how are they doing that? Where are they going and who with? The men who are going to be involved in yachting, it's going to be very high up, well to do, extremely wealthy men well-connected, anonymous businessman type. You wouldn't recognize their name. You have no idea who they are. They probably own a bunch of companies, got a lot of money. You wouldn't recognize their name. To give you an idea of just how wealthy these yacht owners are, some of the yachts spotted at the Cannes Festival in 2019 include the Serene, a $500 million super yacht owned by Saudi Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman that features two helipads, an indoor climbing wall, a fully equipped spa, and three swimming pools. Also spotted at Cannes was the Eclipse, the second largest super yacht in the world, valued at an estimated $1.2 billion. Once you take a look at some of these yachts and factor in what a relationship with their owners could potentially offer your career, as well as the often five-figure-plus gifts you receive at the end of the evening, it becomes more clear why someone would be open to play along, even if they don't exactly need the money. In 2021, Emily Ratajkowski released a memoir titled My Body, where she details her indoctrination into the cult of beauty as defined by powerful men. Part of this book delves into her experiences yachting, and this made people speculate whether or not Bella Hadid and Hailey Bieber also partake in the business, as Emily has posted videos of them dancing on a yacht together at none other than Cannes Film Festival, the same festival that has become synonymous with yachting. One of the excerpts from Emily's book names one of her yachting clients as Joe Law, a Malaysian businessman who has since become a fugitive on the run after allegedly embezzling billions from the Malaysian state. With Emily publicizing her experience yachting with Joe Law, people began drawing lines between him and other potential yacht girls. For example, in 2010, Joe Law was pictured partying with Paris Hilton in St. Tropez, and in 2019, The Sun Daily 
being reported that Kylie Jenner would be celebrating her 22nd birthday on Joe Law's yacht. This corresponds with a 2015 blind item posted about Kris Jenner and Kylie Jenner. I found this Kris Jenner, Kylie Jenner blind item from 2015 that is so creepy, but I've never believed something more. We had really hoped that the younger member of this family would avoid all the pitfalls to which the others fell prey. No such luck. She's already in deep. The latest, she is actually being coached by her mother in both the art of pleasing a man as well as how to find one to pay her a lot to do it. We're not talking about a boyfriend or husband here. No, we're talking about yachting. We're talking about professional work. Her television fame and young age are already earning her a significant bonus over others who provide similar services. So that is Kris Jenner literally pimping out her own daughter who was not 18, well below 18 at the time. Oh my God, and this is when they were filming Keeping Up with the Kardashians. On brand at least. According to Daily Mail, Joe Law also sent Kim Kardashian home in a white Ferrari and $250,000 cash in a garbage bag after partying with him in Vegas for a weekend. People have accused Kim of being a yacht girl for over a decade due to her appearances on yachts and seemingly random solo trips to countries such as Bahrain and Kuwait to attend grand opening openings of the chain restaurant Millions of Milkshakes, a stunt that actually resulted in large protests, which reportedly were tear gassed by police. It's a little loose, but some people claim these appearances were a cover for what she was actually being paid to do. While on the topic, Kendall Jenner was one of 13 celebrities to attend the grand opening of Hotel Atlantis the Royal in Dubai back in January, where she would be caught on camera in someone's Instagram story. TikTok talk user and hobbyist lip reader, impossibly asleep, would share with us what Kendall was saying in the clip. I'm doing some stalking and my lip reading is getting really good. Is this your first or second time? This is my third. My first two times were horrible. Horrible. This is so fun. People interpreted this clip as Kendall badmouthing her prior experiences in Dubai, with some speculating what she could have been doing there, especially after the Dubai porta potty story went viral. A story I won't go into, but will summarize as wealthy men flying out young women to Dubai and paying them to eat human waste. There have also been rumors of Meghan Markle being a yacht girl circulating as far back as the early 2010s, with some people even speculating that this is how she met Prince Harry. She was a deal or no deal suitcase holder, and then all of a sudden she ends up marrying into the royal family. How is that possible? According to a blind item posted by Three Days Three Nights, if you see B actress post scantily clad photos of themselves on social media, this is often a calm that this person is available to rent for a weekend of yachting, typically worth $30,000 for the party. We're about to go off the deep end and enter conspiracy theory territory, but the part about posting scantily clad photos of themselves to advertise their availability is something many people online claim to be a real thing, with some people even claiming that water company 138 Water could be a front for offering high-end escorting services to the wealthy. A 2017 Crazy Days and Nights blind item says, Last year she was affiliated with a high-price escort service run by a sleazy paparazzi agent who uses bottled water ads as a catalog of available girls. The so-called Fashion Water is a front company who lists this always broke rapper as a spokesman for the co-owner. A real co-owner is this mummager herself. Most if not all of the models posing in these water company ads are available for a price, including this sister of this ex-Disney actress turned escort. Taking a look at 138's Instagram page, all you see are posts of of women in bikinis, with descriptions that seemingly advertise the women more than the products they're selling. Excerpts from one of their descriptions include, join us in celebrating the unstoppable energy and incredible vibe of the one and only Nina Svent, Miss European Universe. Nina is a force to be reckoned with. Brace yourselves for a visual feast that will leave you craving for more. Get ready to be inspired, motivated, and blown away. Brace yourself because 
Nina is about to take you on a journey to new heights. People have theorized that the broke rapper mentioned in the blind item is Tyga, and the mummager is none other than Kris Jenner. If you are trying to have a fast track to success, if it's not happening for you, modeling, acting, entertainment industry, whatever that looks like, yachting will always promise you connections. It will promise that you will meet high up people who are the decision makers for signing movie deals, signing modeling contracts. It might not always be true, but they are going to promise you that you're going to meet some big names. In a pretty famous blind item hosted by Crazy Days and Crazy Nights, a struggling actress whom people have speculated to be Vanessa Lenges details their experience yachting and highlights some of the darker elements while also giving context as to why a seemingly successful person would consider yachting. The blind item says, I'm an actress, a generally out of work actress. If not for voiceover work, things would be bleak right now. I had high hopes for this past year, but the show I was starring on got cancelled. It happens a lot. I was on a hit network show for a few years, just a reoccurring role. It was on that show that I started talking to another actress. People have guessed this other actress to be either Naya Rivera or Heather Morris from Glee. She continues, While we waited for a scene to be set up, we would talk a lot. Hours of free time gives you a lot of time to discuss things. It was not that long ago that I was working every week in a pretty good show and making quite a lot of money. Then, the star of the show got tired of acting, and just like that, the show ended, and I was scrambling. I told her this story, and she said I should think about heading to Europe for the summer. She had done it before. The more she talked about it, the better it sounded. Each week, you never know if your job will be lost. Will the show be cancelled? Will the audience hate your character, and you get fired? Will you ever get another job if you do get fired? The actress I was talking to made it sound super easy, and that she only had sex a few times with the guys while yachting, and that it was was mostly partying and being arm candy. I asked her what I needed to do and she said that she would introduce me to the person who can make it happen. She made a call and that night we went and had drinks with a woman who gets a fee for sending people to model. That's what she called it. She had some fake British accent which sometimes turned into a fake French accent. You're there to look pretty, a yacht is elegant, and so are you. Owners of yachts like to have parties and needed to fill those parties with models. Again and again, the word model. Anyway. I I was already in. I knew what to expect, and I knew I needed the money. I was treating this like an acting job. I would play the model part to a T. People know my face, people know my work. My fee at the time was $25,000 per episode, and each episode took a week to film, so I wanted $25,000 up front. Two days after meeting the woman, the money was in my account. On my flight to Paris, I didn't notice any other women who looked like they were models. But when I got to Paris, that all changed. The models are all in the tiniest of bikinis. Most are topless. There was a lot more groping and staring. You would be in the water and some guy would grab you and touch you. They wanted to shower with you when you got out of the water. They wanted to rub oil on you and have you rub it on them. If they saw some poor model passed out, they would film her and grope her. For the most part, it was a three hour sexual recorded. I hated it. A couple who were favorites of the people running the tour would stay with those guys in the yacht. The rest of us were six to a room in a hotel. By my last night there, half of the women were gone. Some had just quit, some had ended up with a guy they liked, and at least one person from my week overdosed. In 2021, Vice conducted an interview with a former super yacht deckhand who described their time on board as the coolest job in the world on the surface, while in reality, it meant cleaning up after sex parties, orgies, drug binges, and slaughtering animals on board so the food is as fresh as it can be. They also detail a fatality that happened where an anchor chain came loose and cut a leg off of an officer, leading to him bleeding out and dying on the boat. <laughs> 